one of the most important things we have when we're growing grass is soil temperature and how that affects grass growing, nutrients being provided, just so many different things that you know a lot about. That, tell me about it. Tell me about the soil and what it does. Especially coming out of the gate in the spring, soil temperature really dictates it everything that we're doing in the lawn care industry. You know, for dormant seedings or spring seeding jobs, um, cool season grasses are not gonna germinate until our grass, are, until our soil temperatures, excuse me, are, are consistently, um, you know, above 50 degrees in that 50 to 65 degree range. Um, and, and typically the easiest way to kind of correlate that is, so, so we, we, we concentrate in on that soil temp at the two inch depth being between 50 and 65 degrees is optimum, right? Um, and that starts the process of the germination. The way we could kind of correlate that is that you need your air temperatures basically to be sustained about 10 degrees warmer than that. So you need air temperatures that are gonna be in that 60 to 75 degree range for an extended period of time. And we've not had that this year in 2021. I mean, we're, we're uh, today's May 13th. And, and it we're feels like April 13th. We're still getting frosts on a pretty yeah. consistent basis. So it's very, very unusual. And uh, you know there is there is still the, the hope that we're going to get a lot of those spring seedings, those dormant seedings, to kick in and do what we want them to do. But soil is a great insulator, and it takes a long time to get soil temperatures up into that range that we need them to be. Like water, you, you were telling me earlier, the water. Yeah, if we think hangs of, on to it. we think about here on the East Coast, right? Um, the, the the coastal properties are are always a lot cooler in the springtime because that big cold glass of water that is the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> kind of holds the temperatures down for a long period of time. It takes a long time for that to come up. So, um, you know, soil is basically made up of, of, of aggregate particles of solid, and it's made up of, of pore space, which is, is the aeration portion of what our soil is. And then it's, you know, those pore spaces can be taken up either by air or by water, uh, which two of the three things that are really good insulators. Yeah. And hold temperatures either really down Hang when it's it. cool, or they make temperatures stay very warm once they get warm, but it takes a while to, to make that transition. Good deal. Well said.